Hey there, it's Dave, the founder and creator of Flipper Force House Flipping Software. Just here to quickly walk you through the basics of getting started using our house flipping software to analyze your deals, manage your projects, and then track your project expenses. So we'll briefly touch on the overall user interface, adding your very first project to the platform, and then we'll dive into some of the different deal analysis tools, the repair estimator, and then the project management and accounting tools, just to quickly get a you acquainted with the workflow of the app. So let's get started. When you first create a new account or log into the platform, you'll be presented with your projects dashboard page. So the project dashboard page just displays all of your active projects that you've added and uploaded to your Flipper Force account. So since this is a new account and our very first time logging in, we don't have any projects listed on our dashboard. So the very first thing that we need to do is add a new project, which will then unlock all of our project tools for analyzing the deals and then managing the rehab project. Now you'll notice there's a big green button at the bottom of the page to add a new project, or you'll notice there's a little plus icon along the top nav bar, which you can use to add a new project basically from anywhere throughout the software. So this project, I'm going to just call it the the bat house so the reason I'm calling it the bat house is because it had creepy little bats hiding behind the shutters of the front of the house I don't really want to talk about it but anyways you'll notice once I start typing the property address the city state and zip code they start to automatically populate using the Google Maps data API so then once we add the project, you'll notice that we're presented with the property details page. So the property details page, this is the page that has the just the basic property information for the property, including the, the property address, the square footage, the number of beds, baths, and the school information, stuff like that. So most of this data and information will automatically populate for you using our Zillow data API, but this is going to be completely editable, so if you do need to change any of this data, you can change that data here. Once we've added the project, you'll notice that we've unlocked the tools in the sidebar that can be used to analyze the deal, estimate the rehab costs, and then manage the rehab project process. So the basic workflow of the app is to start by just analyzing the deal using our deal analysis tools to determine if the property is actually going to be a good deal or not. Once you get the property under contract, you'll move on to the project management and accounting tools to plan out your rehab timelines, track your tasks and your expenses. So to start, the Flip Analyzer tool is the step-by-step -step house flipping calculator for analyzing all of the project costs to determine the maximum purchase price that you should offer for the property. So the flip analyzer, it's just going to take you through all of the steps of analyzing the deal. You can enter your after repair value. You can enter your purchase amount, the repairs, the buying, holding and selling costs, as well as your financing costs. And then it's ultimately going to calculate the profit in the deal and then also calculate the recommended maximum purchase price that you should offer for the property. Now, if you want to watch me analyze a flip, we have a couple of case studies on how to analyze flips, which you can find up here in our user guide or on our website or our YouTube channel. So initially you can use the flip analyzer tool to quickly analyze the viability of the deal. And then if you do think you have a good deal on your hands, you can spend a little bit more time putting together a detailed scope of work to establish an accurate renovation estimate for the project. So our repair estimator tool, it comes pre-built with multiple estimate databases for rehabs and new construction projects that are built with hundreds of common repair items and unit prices that you can use as a starting point to help you put together an accurate budget for your renovations. So simply load an estimate starter template. We've got three different starter templates that you can pick from. We've got a rehab template which is organized by categories. We have a rehab template, which is organized by the different rooms on the property. And then we have a new construction template. So once you get that template loaded, input your quantities. So quantify all of the different repairs that need to happen on the property input those quantities into the estimator and then adjust the pricing to fit your specific project market 
and the materials that you're going to be using on your project. And again, we do have multiple case studies for estimating rehab costs that you can find in our user guide there up in the upper right hand corner or on our website or our YouTube channel. So all of your deal analysis information that we're entering into the flip analyzer tool and then the repair estimator tool is going to be presented on our deal analysis reports. So we've got professional investment reports, we've got estimate reports and a scope of work report that you can use to market to your business partners and your lenders to get funding on your flip projects. Once you make an offer and hopefully get the property under contract for a good deal with a whole lot of profit, you'll want to move on to our project management and accounting tools to start planning your rehab project, creating a project timeline, and establishing a budget so that way you can have a plan in place to hit the ground running once you actually take possession of the property. So our project scheduler, it can be used to plan and build your rehab timelines, schedule your contractor start and completion dates for all of the major construction and renovation tasks that, that need to happen on your project. So to help you get started, our project scheduler actually includes multiple schedule starter templates for rehabs and new construction projects. We've got a template for a gut rehab. We've got a template for cosmetic rehabs. And then we have a new construction template that you can quickly load into the project scheduler in a matter of seconds. And yes, if you are wondering, we do have a case study on how to create a project schedule completely from scratch, which you can find there in our user guide, as well as our website and our YouTube channel. So the project scheduler is going to be a good tool for planning and managing the major renovation tasks on your project. But on every single house flip, there are hundreds of just small miscellaneous tasks that need to get done on your project. Our task manager is used to manage, organize, and streamline all of these small daily tasks and to-dos that need to get done on your projects. You can build your task list completely from scratch, or you can use one of our 14 pre-built task checklists built for each stage of the house flip process. So we have checklists for purchasing the property, checklists for preparing for the rehab project, project management checklists, and checklists for getting the property listed and sold. You can assign tasks to your teammates, and then you can collaborate on tasks to make sure that all of your projects are getting completed on time and you're keeping those house flips on track. So all of these, these project schedules that you have on your scheduler, your tasks from the task manager, and the events that you have on your calendar for all of your projects that you have throughout your entire workspace are shown on an overall project calendar. So if you do have multiple flips going on all at the same time, you can use your project calendar to track everything that needs to get done on all of your projects all in one location. So if you're like me, you probably love the process of actually renovating the house, but you probably despise the bookkeeping process, you hate QuickBooks, and have a big stack of expenses in a shoebox that you don't ever really add up until the end of the project, so you don't really know how much profit you make in the deal until it's too late. Well, our project budgeter and our expense tracker tools, they're built to be simple project accounting tools for tracking and comparing your actual expenses to your initial budgets so that way you can forecast your budget overages throughout the entire project process and you can always really have a pulse on your project's profitability so when you first initially analyze your deal and then you estimate the repair costs using our flip analyzer and our repair estimator tools all of that deal analysis financial information is used to establish a budget for your project which is then shown here on the project budgeter in our analysis and budget columns. You can then use our expense tracker tool to track all of your actual project expenses that you can then compare to your budget to forecast your budget overages. On the expense tracker, you can track your expenses by financial account, such as your bank accounts or your credit cards. You can track your expenses by your vendors so you can see how much you've spent at Home Depot or how much you've paid to a particular contractor on the project. 
And then you can categorize your expenses to track to see how much you've spent in a particular category, like how much you've spent on roofing, windows, or cabinetry. So that way you can compare those actual expenses to what you originally had estimated and budgeted for the project. And now you can even upload your receipt images. So now you can actually finally get rid of that old shoot box that you've been storing your receipts in. Now all of this project budget information and all of the expenses that you input into the expense tracker, these feed to various accounting reports, expense reports, and a final profit statement, which hopefully has a nice big profit number for you when you close out your project. So that is a quick overview of our Flipper Force house flipping software. Again, if you have any questions, you can always find all of our video tutorials right there in the user guide directly in the app or on our website or our YouTube channel. Or you can send a chat message directly to me using our chat app in the bottom right hand corner. And it looks like somebody just chatted me up. So uh, when you send me a chat message, I'll receive it right here on my phone. So I'm always going to be readily available for you. Otherwise, we have a bunch of new tools and features planned for the near future. So you can always check up on our progress and our latest updates by clicking the, the little lightning bolt up here at the top, which will show you our change log with our latest updates and changes that we've made to the software. But if you do want to get involved and collaborate with us on what we should build next, you can always go to our feedback page here and make some suggestions or post your ideas. And you can also vote to help us prioritize our entire software roadmap. So thanks again for signing up for Flipper Force. And again, if you have any questions or ever need anything, feel free to let me know.